Welcome, welcome back to the Super Mario Challenge. Yes, sir, we are back. This is the very final game of round two. We're gonna we're getting our way to finding the finest Super Mario player in the entire universe. We're playing Super Mario Brothers 3 these days, that brand spanking new game, and the very last contestants of round two are these guys. We've got Douglas Isaac. He's age 10. He's from London. He scored 45,740 last time out. That was his high score. Yeah. Yay! Okay. We also have Chris Stiff. He's age 12. He's from Kidlington, Oxfordshire. Uh, last time he was here, he scored 41,120. All right, Chris. Yay! Yeah. Let, let's meet these guys here. How you doing, Douglas? Let's see what our spies have dug up on you. you uh, you're from London. You like um, drawing and making your own Super Mario comics. You have a pet rat. You, you didn't bring it. Yeah. No, all right, that's all right then. Uh, you like Mario? Well, who doesn't like Mario? Who do we got over here? How you doing? Chris, what do we got on you? We got, uh, we got uh, reading, drawing, and playing the piano. You want to become a doctor or a Super Mario designer? One or the other. They're about the same thing. But, uh, he says he's the drawer of Super Mario characters, but did you make this yourself? Yes. Well done here. Well done. Looks just like me, if I must say so myself. Anyway, no more faffing about. We got games to play here. This is round one of the Super Mario Challenge. This, of course, is the speed round. Uh, we don't care how many points you pick up. We don't care about how many gold coins you get. We just want to see the first person to get to the end of this level. Okay, are you two ready? We're playing Super Mario Bros. 1. This is world level 4. You both ready? Yep. On your mark, get set, go! And we are off and running to an action pack. Oh, this is a tough one. This is going to be a very interesting game to play. Do not die on this because this is a scrolling world. Now, scrolling worlds, you cannot really go as fast as you want because you have to wait for the screen to go by. If you die on this, it's going to cause you lots of problems because it's very difficult to make up for lost time. Uh, also, very dangerous world. You can see uh, when you jump on the logs, you see the, the logs of the brown ones that come by here. When you jump on them, as soon as you hit them, they start to drop. If you stay on them too long, you drop off the screen. Also, if you don't keep going forward, Douglas just got killed. Douglas has just gotten killed. Uh, Chris, if he keeps his wits about him, will do very well in here. Uh, back to four, Doug. There you go. Douglas has gone back to four, and he is off and running. Uh, as I say, it's very difficult to pick up on this round. So if Chris does not die, he will, he will do very well. Here's Chris. Here's a tip we showed a couple days ago. Uh, if you jump on there, oh, of course, Chris didn't do it because he's not picking up the gold coins. But you can pick up all of those gold coins if you want. You also have to make sure you jump before the screen scrolls past you, or you'll get crushed by the actual screen zipping past. There's Chris. Is he going to jump on that Koopa Trooper? No, he hasn't bothered. He zipped all the way by down the pipe. Chris is coming up to the end. There's a boomerang brother, but he will avoid him. Jump up near. Finish the round. Chris has won. Yeah. Well done, Chris. Douglas, you died. Okay, and dying, especially in this world, is going to definitely slow you down. I'll toss one of them out here. I forgot to give that to you. Congratulations, Chris. There's your gold coin. Don't worry. Round two is for two gold coins. Round three is for three gold coins. There's a lot of game left. But before we get back into the game, we're going to show you some of our world-famous Super Mario tips. Right. This is Super Mario Brothers. This is World 1. This is Level 6. This is how to find a 10-coin block. Right. Uh, before, a couple days ago, we showed you how to get the 1-up there. Uh, but underneath that 1-up, if, if you've gotten rid of the blocks underneath, all you do is have to hit 10 times on that block, you get 10 gold coins. Uh, you can only do it if you're a little Mario. If you're a Raccoon Mario, you could hit it with your tail. It's very difficult when you're a big Mario to slide under, but even that's possible. But getting 10 coins is always worth your while. Right. On to round two. Round two, of course, is the points round. We don't care how many gold coins you get. We don't care how many lives you lose, unless you lose all of them, of course. You get three whole minutes to see who gets the most points possible. Are you two ready? On your mark, get set, go! And they are off and running. We are playing Super Mario Bros. This is World 2. This is, of course, the world with the dreaded micro Goomba blocks. They look like normal blocks, but uh, they are not. If you bump into them, they can kill you, but if you jump on top of them, you can break them. Both Chris and Douglas have found the power-up mushroom. They are now Big Marios. Uh, well worth your while, because, of course, if you get hit when you're a Big Mario, you don't die. Uh, see, now there you can see Chris hit the side of that block, and he got hit. He's now no longer a Big Mario. He is a Little Mario. But Chris is after the star. The star is making him invincible. He's zooming along. One of the few ways that you can actually attack that fire snake. Very nasty character indeed. Chris is still flashing.
flashing, but he no longer is flashing. He's down normal Mario. He's now become a big Mario. Let's take a look at Douglas. Douglas is a raccoon Mario. He's going to break that block. Ah, he just got hit by a fire snake, though. Um, he was going to go in there and get those coins, but he didn't. I'm, I'm surprised he didn't. It'd be well worth his while. But I think he has decided that finishing the round is more important. Uh, Douglas has zipped down into a coin room. You can see down there is a P. That is a, a changing switch. When he goes back up, you will find that all the blocks are now, in fact, coins. There they are. They are, in fact, all coins. He's picked up coins there. We're not giving you extra bonuses for coins, but you do get the actual 200-point bonuses that the game gives you for this. So we will continue. Chris has gone down the very same place. You'll see it again. Hitting that switch block, going back upstairs. One minute and 45, guys. One minute and 45, you can find. There we go. Hit the switch block, the, the, coin, the blocks have now become coins, and Chris is now going to the end, jumping up, and he is getting his bonus. We're at the halfway point, one and a half minutes left. As soon as Chris is finished, we'll tabulate the scores, we'll see how we're doing. 18,000 and some for Chris, 17,000 and some for Douglas, so it is well worth a uh, well good game here. You can see that, uh, that you can see, no, I can see over here, Chris, it is a close game. One minute and 15 left. Uh, Douglas has changed, had a switch block, so all the cool blocks have become coins. That's picking stuff up for him. Uh, Douglas is getting around to the end of his round. He's gone through a pipe. Uh, once again, one minute left. One minute left. Douglas is going through. He's going up. He's jumping up. And he has gotten a, another card. He's going to get his bonuses. All the points left, the time left, is going to give him points. His score is up there in the 32,000 mark. Chris is only in the 20,000 mark. But 45 seconds left, but Chris is coming to the end there. He will get his bonuses here. Douglas is now in the underground fortress world. Uh, don't wonder if that was a good idea. There's not a lot of points to be gained and a lot of danger. As you can see, Douglas is uh, now getting uh, dropped off by that huge block. And 30 seconds left. Uh, Chris is in the 33,000. Douglas in the 32,000. So Douglas is behind. But Chris is in the fortress world as well. Uh, obviously, they didn't have much of a choice. They're, they're called dry bones, what they're coming after now. They're just like... Uh, they're just like Koopa Troopers, 15 seconds left, but when you hit them, they come back to life. There's a Bo Diddley. Oh, anyway. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it right there. Hit your pause buttons, guys. Let's take a look at the scores. Douglas has 32,650, but Chris just the winner with 33,720. All right, Chris. Yeah. All right. We'll come forward here. Well done, Chris. Congratulations. Another job. One, two, three coins here. Nothing. Nada. Nothing. Nothing here. What's the problem here? Douglas, it was close, so I'll shake your hand. You did a great job. Listen, don't worry about it, because round three is for three gold coins. Now, this is round three. This means if Douglas wins round three, we could have a Super Mario Brothers tie break, but I'll explain that when I get there. This is round three. This is the way the game should be played. We're not only playing for your points. We also play for your gold coins. We give you 10 extra points for your gold coins. We also give you 1,000 points for every live you win, and we give you a take away 1,000 points for every live you lose. We give you four lives to start with, so there's a 4,000 point bonus. We just toss you away, because we're nice guys. Okay, are you two ready for this? We're playing Super Mario Brothers. This is th Super Mario Brothers 3, this is World 4. It's to the end of the level. On your mark, get set. Go! And they are off and running. We are playing Super Mario Bros. This is World 4. This, of course, is the land of the giants. Now, what we're doing here is we're going to not only give you the points like the last round, as I've explained, we also will give you bonuses for every live you win or we'll take away lives, bonuses for every live you lose. Both of them become big Marios. This gives them a little bit of insurance because if they get hit, they won't actually lose a life. They'll just become a little Mario. Everything in this land, this is the land of the giants, all of the levels in World 4 are like this. Everything is bigger, but it doesn't make it that much more difficult. Actually, some people think it actually makes it easier because targets are easier to hit because they're that much bigger. Uh, also, these clouds that are there, you can land on them. Unlike in other Mario Brothers where the clouds you just kind of fell through. Right, let's take a look, quick look at the scores. We've got uh, 4,000 over here for Doug. We've got uh, 3,600 for Chris. And seven gold coins and seven gold coins. So it looks like it's still a pretty close match. Uh, Douglas just got hit by a Prana Plant, but since he was a big Mario, um, he of course didn't lose a life. He just became a little Mario. Douglas has come up to the end. He has finished the round. Chris has finished the round too. They're going to unpause there. There we go. They will get their bonuses for that, and we will tabulate the scores right now.
Chris ended up with 16,100 points. He had four lives and seven gold coins. That gave him a grand total of 20,170. Douglas had 16,700 points, four lives, seven gold coins. That makes him just the winner with 20,770. Yeah! yeah. yeah. One, two, three gold coins. Here we got three, here we got one, two. Hey, it is a Super Mario Challenge playoff round. These are great, these are brilliant, I love them, and we better get started on them. This is a speed round, okay? It's a speed round. It's uh, world one, level one, it's the one you all know, right? It's the first person to get to the end of the level wins, just like in round one, except if you die, you lose. That's the end of it. So do not die. Yeah? yeah. All right. The speed round. Here we go. Super Mario Brothers playoffs to find out who will be the winner of the final game in heat number two. Are you two ready? Yeah. On your marks. Get set. Go. And they are off and running. This is brilliant stuff. They are off. Now, neither of them decided to become big Marios. They both think they're good enough to make it through this round without taking a hit at all. But they were big Marios. That will give them protection. Uh, because if they die, they will lose. It looks like Chris is definitely in the lead. He is zooming right along. But is he being reckless? That is the question. I don't think so. He's doing well. Douglas has picked up. Uh, he's right behind the bomb. Douglas is dying. That makes Chris the winner. Congratulations. Yeah! Chris is the winner. He had no more gold coins. That makes you the winner. Congratulations. We will have you back. Well, well, well done. Douglas, what can I say? You did a great job. But uh, it was so close all the way through, but just at the end, Chris just didn't die as much. So well done, Chris. We will see you back. I Hopefully, we will see you back because it is getting down into action packed. We got the semifinals coming up of the Super Mario Challenge. See you back. And the Super Mario Challenge will be back next week with a special celebrity challenge. Your favourite television and sporting stars will be stomping the Goombas all week. On Monday, Connect Four host Logan Murray takes on Radio 1 DJ Liz Kershaw. Can they survive the Celebrity Super Mario Challenge? Find out on Monday.